Games and codes, gtway.com is the place for you. Link is also in the description. What is going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new video about the best custom tactics and player instructions for the most overpowered for the best formations in FIFA 17 Ultimate Team and Head to Head. In this video we're gonna talk about the fantastic formation that the 4334 is. I'm doing this series together with my friend Mike, another cool YouTuber. He's doing the formation review. I do the player instructions, the tactics. Make sure to check the link in the description you will find over there his youtube channel his version of this video in which he analyzes the pros the cons a formation review of the 4334 and before jumping into more details make sure to drop a like if you are enjoying the series let's try and get over 1900 that would be awesome and much much appreciated we are going to start with speed in build up play and if you're asking yourself what does each tactic exactly do i've already made a video about it it will be in the description below so we're gonna have speed here at around 80 85 uh, even though as i always tell you fifa 17 is a game where possession is good it's a nice style to score goals still you need counter attacks you need counter attacks and we're gonna have here around 88 87, 88, between 80 and 95, it's all good. Moving now to passing. Passing should be balanced. 50, 55, that's the balance, the mix uh, option that you want to have here. You want your players to come also for short passes and also do runs for long passes. You want variety. Next, positioning. Organized, never ever use here free form. You don't want your center backs helping the attack that much. This option here, uh, refers to how your players make runs in the first two-thirds of the field so you don't want to see uh, your center back getting too involved in the attack chance creation now we're gonna have passing at around uh, 60 65 something like that we're gonna have crossing you want a lot of crossing you want a lot of crossing here it's gonna be around 80 and don't get uh, don't be afraid if you have a lot of crossing then Ovi how am I going to play my uh, Tiki Taka style of play if I want to play like that? Do not worry. This type of option works only for example when you go on a counter attack and uh, your player sees the empty space behind the defenders and wants to get there in order for a cross. But in a positional attack, nah, he stays for the passes also, it's like uh, he will be a balanced player. Shooting now doesn't really matter, here it's more for the um, AI. Uh, if you don't control your team, uh, how many times uh, players will come into shooting positions, I like to keep it balanced here. 50. Positioning, we will have a free form, not organized. You want your players, as always, to make a lot of runs, change positions in the last third of the field. Moving now to defense pressure here. The 4-3-3-4 is a very offensive formation. And when you lose possession in an attack, and trust me, that will happen. You want your defenders to not apply that much pressure. You want them to stay in the back, wait for the opponent's strikers. You don't want to be caught very bad on counter attacks. This is why we're gonna go here with pressure at only 35. Aggression on the other side, gonna be around 55. Uh, not too much else, our players will double team the opponent's team with. Uh, for the 4 one 2 one 2 wide in the previous episode we had around 25. Now we're gonna have around uh, 35, 40. The 4 30 is already a wide formation. You want your team uh, to have balance there as everywhere on the pitch. So we're gonna go with the 40, 45. Everything between uh, 35, 45 should do the job. I'm gonna go with 40 here. Defend the line as always lads. Cover, never use offside trap. It is way too risky. One mistake and bam, the opponent is gonna go alone with the goalkeeper. You never wanna have offset trap here. Getting now to player instructions and these are crucial lads for the 4334 more than any other formation. Uh, we're gonna have a four, our right back and left back. They're gonna have stay back while attacking. Let's put that to Luke Shaw also. Our CDMs, Fellaini and Rooney in this case here, stay back while attacking, both of them. Um, center attacking midfielder is gonna have the free roam, he is your playmaker, he needs to go left, right, free roam is perfect for, for him then. Left uh, winger, right winger, we're gonna have uh, the get in behind for both of them, 
because you want them to get in behind the opponent's defender line, play a cheap pass, play a through ball there. Now moving to the striker, here for example we've got Ibrahimovic. He's a tall, a big, a powerful striker, not the fastest, so we can't go with getting behind. But I don't want him to be only a target man also. This is why I'm gonna leave everything to balanced. So guys, these were the best player instructions and the best tactics for the 4-3-3-4 formation. One of the best formations, the most overpowered formations in FIFA 17, both Ultimate Team and Head to Head. Make sure to drop a like if you've enjoyed the content. Let's try and get over 1800. Also check Mike's video about the review of this cool formation. And leave a comment below, let me know which other formations me and Mike should do in the next episodes. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more awesome FIFA 17 videos, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, especially on Twitter if you've got any questions related with FIFA 17, I tend to answer over there a bit quicker, the link is also in the description at this video. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later!